Ah, yes, the Super Bowl is finally dead and gone, dead and gone. But the Vikings uh, were not in the Super Bowl, so it's whatever. But Super Bowl 57 uh, was one for the record books. It was a classic. It was a fantastic game. Maybe shoddily officiated at the end and also in the beginning and the end, even though Roger Goodell uh, three days ago said the best officiating ever baloney but the Chiefs get it done Andy Reid uh, and Patrick Holmes get their second ring and it's awesome man all right so basically I I just didn't want the Eagles to win like I, I didn't care if the Chiefs won but as long as the Eagles lost that's all I cared about if that makes sense hmm. uh, and Mahomes yeah redonkulous uh, they had this infographic recreating the the famous Len Dawson picture uh, which I, I think was him against the Vikings Super Bowl four smoking a heater uh, like smoking a dart now. Also, he had a fresca by him. But Mahomes, impressive. Two Super Bowl wins, two MVPs, and two Super Bowl MVPs. Apparently, uh, apparently the top trophy is the Super Bowl MVP. I didn't even know that they gave out a trophy. I thought they just went to Disney World and they got like a truck. Doesn't matter. Uh, but Field Yates pointed this out. Through five seasons as a starter, Patrick Mahomes now has two Super Bowl wins, two Super Bowl MVP awards, two NFL MVP awards, three Super Bowl appearances, five AFC Championship Game appearances. Uh, by the way, he's never played a road playoff game. Isn't that just absolutely insane, man? Uh, five Pro Bowls, three All Pros, NFL Offensive Player of the Year, 12 plus wins every season. Unreal. And it's, that's true. I mean, so. Uh, there have been a lot, a lot of talk before the game that if Mahomes just walked away, um, he just went to Thailand and just retired, uh, would he be in the Hall of Fame? Before the game, I would have said no. But after the game, I would say yes. I mean, uh, the fact that he has made this large of an impact through five seasons and the fact that he's still young, it's pretty amazing, right? And, and also, what's crazy is that the, the Chiefs, they traded uh, his best receiver, Tyreek Hill, and they got better. <laughs> Which is crazy, man. Absolutely insane. Plus, uh, ties to Minnesota. Hashtag one of us. We got the Twins hat going on. Uh, his dad, Pat Mahomes, was a great uh, relief pitcher for the Twins. Back in the day. Uh, so, ooh. The Twins have two World Series titles and two Super Bowl wins. Why does my baseball team have more Super Bowls than my football team? <laughs> He's a cute kid, though. But, but of course, uh, since we just had our third, uh, lo uh, another little baby boy, just like, ah, yeah, just just seeing what they can be when they grow up. Now, I don't think my kid's going to be a quarterback. They're probably going to be like free safeties, maybe slot receivers. I don't know. Uh, but and Nick Sirianni before the game, crying during the national anthem. I, I think it, he was more crying because either A, he can see the future, or B, he read the script of what was going to go down tonight. Not so much. Uh, Rihanna was great at halftime. Uh, you, you forget like how many hits she has. Although, you know, respect to, to Re. Um, Prince, still the greatest halftime show of all time. And I don't see it ever being topped. Of course, I'm biased, but of course, I'm very correct in those things. Uh, and, and also, it's funny. So props to Jarek McKinnon, as well as Blake Bell, the belldozer, as well as Amir Smith-Marset for winning their uh, first Super Bowl rings. Well, Blake Bell's got two, I think. Uh, but Amir Smith-Marset has as many Super Bowl rings as Aaron Rodgers right now. Love to see it. So Andy Reid is one of the main storyline. Well, Mahomes is the main storyline, but Andy Reid, respect. I mean, two Super Bowl wins. He's been to four, went to one with the Eagles, uh, went to three with the Chiefs, one, two. And uh, him and Bill Parcells are the only two uh, ho head coaches to take two separate teams to the uh, to the Super Bowl. And you know, what's amazing is that roster turnover, reloading, just completely piling up on that offensive line, which the Vikings need to do as well. Uh, but in this game, being down 10 points at halftime, and you've seen what the Eagles have done. I mean, they just steamroll teams all damn year long. And I actually do think that the Eagles' lack of adversity this season really came back to bite them because, like, where, where, where was the close game that they had? Like, against the Colts? Probably. Uh, but it... it it's different when you get into a knockdown drag out fight. It's like boxers who are knockout artists and uh, never get past the third or fourth round. But when they get dragged into you know the 10th, 12th, 15th rounds, uh, the championship rounds or uh, UFC fighters who uh, you know don't get out of the first and second rounds, but once they're into the fifth round, uh, fourth, fifth round, the championship rounds, I mean, sometimes they're out of place. Like you have to be challenged, and you saw what happened to the Eagles in the second half. They they puckered up, 
I mean, they, they had three points until they got that touchdown and two-point conversion late. Uh, Nick Sirianni thoroughly got out coached in the second half, even though he out coached Andrew Reid in the first half. He didn't make as many adjustments. This team got tight. I mean, th- this team, this team, which has played fearless football all season long, they got scared in the second half. Now, that's straight up what happened. And I, I do think it was the fact that they just blew teams out week in, week out, and they didn't really get challenged in the second half. I, I truly think that that mattered. And, and the Chiefs, They've been there, done that, got the T-shirt, and they fought and clawed at a handful of games this season against very good football teams, and it showed. Like They didn't give up when they were down 10 at halftime. They didn't give up. Uh, well, hell, in the second half, uh, even though Mahomes had that ankle, which magically got better, crazy, uh, but 24 points in the second half. They scored on all four of their possessions. They had one incompletion, which is just insane, man. Just insane. Absolutely crazy. And it, it, Mahomes didn't put up the, the the gaudy numbers like you're accustomed to. Like, he only threw for 182 yards, but he did have three touchdowns. He did run for 44 yards on, on that bum ankle, uh, which is kind of crazy. And also, uh, you can't overlook the storyline of the officiating, which was garbage again. It's been garbage all season. Well, not, not so much garbage, just massively inconsistent, wildly inconsistent. And they, they miss a very obvious calls. Now, that defensive holding on Bradbury at the end, uh, did that make a difference? Probably not. Uh, I, I mean, the Chiefs probably still kick a field goal, but it, it is a difference of the Eagles having like a minute 10, minute 20 uh, to try and do something, try and march down and tie the game versus the Chiefs being able to run the clock all the way down. And I, I did think that even though it was the Eagles and screw them right in the face, I, I did think it was ticky-tacky. Uh, and like I, it, it sucks that the game, which was a, a classic, I mean, it came down to that. Now, did it did it change things? I mean, the Chiefs, if they kick the field goal there, they're probably, what, 70% to win? Whereas if they ran it down and kicked the field goal, they're, what, you know, 99, 98% to win? So it, it did matter, but it just sucks. just really kind of sucks because that's what everyone's going to be talking about on Monday. Not the fact that this was a fantastic game, but it'll, it'll just be that penalty. That's exactly what happens all the time. Also, the playing surface was absolute trash. And they had bragged all week about, how ooh, it's this new hybrid type of grass. It's like, ooh, blah, blah, blah grass. But, I mean, the NFL is a billion-dollar industry, almost nearing trillion-dollar industry. And they still can't figure out how to paint grass without making it slick as, 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 as F. It's really ridiculous. And uh, I know that players don't want to play an artificial surface. This was grass. So I don't know. I really just don't know. But they got to figure something out because that was, I mean, that that surface was torn up by the end of the first quarter. And it was just embarrassing just seeing how players are slipping and sliding around. Maybe Mahomes re- re-injured his ankle because of it. But it's just so stupid. Uh, and Jalen Hurts. So, I mean, Jalen Hurts had a hell of a performance. Like, Honestly, if they would have named Hertz MVP in a losing effort, I wouldn't have been upset because they've done that before. I believe it was Danny White and the Cowboys back in the day when the Cowboys lost the Super Bowl. He was still MVP. Uh, but Hertz, four total touchdowns, three on the ground, threw for 304 yards and a touchdown, was just dropping dimes all over the place. Did have that you know, fumble six, uh, for the, uh, uh, for Nick Bolton, the pride of Mizzou in the first half. But other than that, like he played a damn good football game. Jalen Hurts is a good football player, man. And he's a fantastic quarterback and he's going to get paid and deservedly. So, and I don't know, like I said, I think the Eagles just puckered up like Nick Sirianni aggressive in the first half, calling a wide open game. Uh, you're getting after in short yardage. Oh, by the way, I think there, there's two rules that the Eagles are going to change this off season. Like the league, the league can't allow, you know, the lane Johnson readjusting of the outside foot, where I understand the rule, but Lane Johnson just exploits the loophole by literally moving his entire body, which, yeah, no. Also, I think that they are going to get rid of the, the the rugby push play where, I mean, what were the Eagles? Like 99% on fourth and one, fourth and inches by, by pushing Jalen Hurts forward. Now, it would be nice if the Vikings would be able to do that as opposed to going freaking shotgun on fourth and short. O'Connell, I'm looking at you. Uh, but I actually do think that the league and the competition committee is going to be like, hey, rugby push? No. Hey, Lane Johnson, uh, false start? Uh, no. No, 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 Moss. No, Moss, man. But I don't know. Like, uh, overall. It, it, it was a fun-ass Super Bowl. Devontae Smith showed up and showed out. Travis Kelsey still got his uh, six for 81 and a touchdown. You know, Nick Bolton. I mean, uh, if they ruled that Boston Scott 
catch, uh, fumble, catch, fumble. I mean, Nick Bolton scores twice. I mean, he's Super Bowl MVP, <laughs> uh, which is kind of crazy, man. But I don't know. What was crazy is that you know this vaunted Eagles defense, and everyone and their mom thought that the Chiefs were going to struggle against it. I mean, in the first half, sure, but the second half, they lit them up. I mean, they they got them tired, they got them moving, and it was a hell of a game. Isaiah Pacheco runs like every single carry is his last. Like Pacheco runs like Tom Cruise runs in every single movie. Like Pacheco runs hard, man. I absolutely love. And uh, again, uh, Pacheco was what sixth or seventh round pick out of Rutgers. Uh, That's why you don't need to spend up at the running back position. I mean, because look at the so Chiefs running backs. uh, They have a first round pick in Clyde edwards alaire who's clearly like third or fourth string. Also, is hurt all the time. Uh, But you got Pacheco and you got Jerick McKinnon, who is a value free agent. Right. And also, uh, who's our running back last time? Like Damon Williams? <laughs> you, you don't need to spend up at the running back position. Um, although, I just did a mock draft uh, taking Bajan Robinson. <laughs> uh, but yeah, also what's crazy is that you, know, you get rid of Tyreek Hill, so one of the best receivers in the game, and they just got better because their offensive line is great, and they distribute the football creatively like Juju got, got it going. Uh, McKinnon out of the backfield, he's been dynamic receiver all, all season long. And it really just is amazing uh, at what Andy, uh, what Andy Reid has done and what Mahomes continues to do. I mean, it's just it, it, it's just crazy, man, team stats-wise. All right, so, I mean, the Eagles were 11 of 18 on third down, 2 of 2 on fourth. Uh, they had more yards, uh, time and possession they dominated. Uh, so, I mean, this all added and stacked up to it should have been a pretty comfortable Eagles victory, but... I mean, the the Chiefs had Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. And I actually do think that there's a chance that Andy Reid retires. Uh, I actually do believe some of the smoke and some of the reports. Uh, But, I mean, who takes over if Andy Reid retires? I mean, do you have an outside hire? Like, do you just open things up? Or do you just promote from within? Um, Biennemi, even though Biennemi and Mahomes don't really see eye to eye, like, does he get the job? You do have Matt Nagy, you have fake-ass Brad Childress on staff, I guess. Uh, Steve Spagnuolo. Great defensive uh, coach, was whatever as a head coach uh, with the St. Louis Rams back in the day. I don't know. I don't know. Or do you open things up and do, do you try and steal uh, Shane Steichen from the Eagles or whatever? Because obviously, I mean, if the Chiefs job comes open, that's the best job in the league. Or if, if it's not number one, it's number two. Because you have Mahomes. You have a great offensive line. You have cap stability. You have great GM and Brett Veach. Uh, you have a loyal fan base. Yes, you're walking, in, you're walking into extremely high expectations. I mean, you got Chris Jones, too. Uh, but it's it's a hell of a job, man. It's a great job. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I'm really happy for the Chiefs. Again, whatever about the Chiefs winning, I'm just glad that the Eagles lost. <laughs> That's all, man. That's all. But your thoughts are thoughts. Recap in the Super Bowl. The Chiefs prevail 38-35. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most put the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.